This video describes text mining, a new procedure in Stack Graphics 18. Text mining searches text to find the most frequently occurring words. It can scan either multiple columns of character data in the Stack Graphics data sheet or a collection or corpus of external text documents. Stack Graphics 18 uses the TM library in R through the Stack Graphics to R interface. As an example, I'm going to analyze nine famous speeches by Patrick Henry, Frederick Douglass, Abraham Lincoln, Susan B. Anthony, Winston Churchill, John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr., Lyndon B. Johnson, and Ronald Reagan. The first step in using the Stack Graphics 18 text mining procedure is to download and install R and the TM library. There's a selection on the R interface menu within Stack Graphics that displays this dialog box. To install R, you first need to press the install button, follow the instructions which are self-explanatory. Then install several packages. You'll need to install PanDoc and R Markdown. You'll need to install ggplot2. And you'll need to install the TM Snowball Word Cloud and iGraph libraries. There's a separate video about downloading and installing R in case you have any problems. Once R is installed, you can go back to the R interface menu and select text mining. You'll first be asked whether you want to analyze data already in the Stack Graphics data sheet or external text documents. If you select external text documents, you'll see this dialog box. It'll give you two choices. You can specify a directory in which case the program will analyze all text files in that directory where you can list one by one the files you want to analyze. The next dialog box shows various options you can select when analyzing the text. In the top left corner you'll see some pre-processing options. These are operations which would be performed on the text before it's examined. You can ask to remove punctuation, to remove a list of special characters. You can have it remove numbers, convert everything to lowercase, and also remove stop words. Stop words are words like the, and, a uh, that occur in all documents but aren't very interesting. You can also ask it to remove common word endings. Common word endings are things in English like ed, ing, s, and so forth. If you remove the common word endings, then words like working and worked and works would all be treated as the same word. You can tell it to remove specified words by listing the words in this edit field. You can have it replace specified words by listing the words you want replaced over here and giving it a replacement. You can tell it to strip white space, that's extra blanks between words. And you can also have it remove sparse terms. The 0.75 here tells it to retain any words that are missing in no more than 75% of the documents. In order to remove stop words, the program also needs to know what language your documents are in. In the case of English, there are two selections. There's a short list of stop words and it would just say English here. And then there's also a longer list called the smart list. 
The smart list includes words like will and other words that occur frequently. Once you've chosen the options, you then select the output that you'd like to see. There are a number of different tables, including the very popular word cloud, and there are also a number of different graphs. I'll show you a couple, including the tornado butterfly plot. Once you've made your selections and pressed OK, Stack Graphics will create a script, send it to R, R will analyze your documents, and send back output. Stack Graphics then displays that output in a typical analysis window. To show you how it works, I've loaded Stack Graphics 18. I'm going to go up to the R interface and select text mining. A dialog box comes up asking whether I want to analyze external text documents or data book text columns. I'll pick external text documents. On the next dialog box, I'll push the lower browse button and select the nine speeches that I want to analyze. Then I'll go ahead and press OK. When the Analysis Options dialog box appears, I'll make two small changes. I'll ask it not to remove common word endings, and I'll also ask it to use the English Smart List. On the list of tables and graphs, I'll select Analysis Summary, Word Cloud, and the Document Term Matrix. For graphs, I'll ask for the bar chart and the Tornado Butterfly Plot. When I press OK, a script will be sent to R. R will analyze the documents and return the results. The basic output of the text mining procedure is something called a Document Term Matrix. This matrix shows how often various words have occurred in each of the nine documents. Remember, we've removed common words like the and and. We've also removed sparse words, words that don't occur in more than 75% of the documents. What a lot of people like to see is the word cloud. The word cloud shows which words occur most frequently. Those words that are large occur more frequently than those words that are small. There are a number of different options for the word cloud. If I push the right mouse button and go to Paint Options, I can control things like the minimum frequency. I've told it not to show me words that don't occur at least three times in the document. I've also told it the rotation proportion, basically asked to plot 10% of the words vertically. The rest will be horizontal. I can also change the color scale. I actually like dark too. I think that gives a better illustration because it's hard to see some of those yellow words. I can also ask to see the distribution of the most common words as a bar chart. This chart shows me that the word freedom occurred more frequently than any other word, almost 50 times. In second place was the word nation, in third place, the word today. There are a couple options on the Pane Options dialog box that are also interesting. Instead of sorting the 20 most frequent words alphabetically, I can sort them instead by frequency. I can also have the chart show me which words occurred how often in which documents. That's quite an interesting display. 
The other graph I asked for was the tornado butterfly plot. These plots compare the frequency distribution of the most common words between two separate documents. The tornado plot looks like this with the words along the y-axis. If I push the right mouse button, ask for pane options, and switch to a butterfly plot, then it looks like this. One comparison I find interesting is between the speeches given by Martin Luther King and Ronald Reagan. They both talk a lot about freedom. Martin Luther King talks a lot also about the nation, while Ronald Reagan talks a lot about the world. You can see some interesting comparisons between speeches using this butterfly plot. In summary, the text mining procedure is an interesting way of extracting information from data when your data are text.